hello friends welcome you again today i am going to show you a very important feature of data analysis software graphpad 3 it is very important and time saving option maybe many of you know it but this will be much helpful for you if you don't know yet so let's start here you can see on my screen i have analyzed prism file in which you can see at the left side data table file i have seven file and also the associated file of result and graph and if you notice that file one in the data file table is highlighted and likewise in the result and graph file is highlighted and if you select the second file in the data table you can see the file highlighted in the result and graph so these are the associated file having the result and the graph and if you click here the result section you can see the result of this associated file and also if you click here on this graph file you can see the graph so this is very easy to find the associated result and the graph if you have limited file but i'm going to show you the other file here you can see i have multiple data file if you select the data table file one here so you will not be able to see the result file associated with that data file without scroll down and like if you click here then you can see the result and if you further scroll down so you will see the graph file here so this is very annoying condition to get the associated file in the graph pad frame so if you want to see the result and the statics value like it is significant or not so you have to scroll down again and again so how you can solve this problem so to solve this problem there are two way you can solve this problem very easily the first method you can see here at the left bottom side family option available in this analyze file and if you select any data file and you can see in the family option these three files are highlighted separately and this is associated with this particular file so if you click here you can see the data file in the next if you click here on the middle one you can see the result file and at the bottom if you click here you can see the graph file so this is very easy you don't need to scroll down or you have to select any file in this section just go to the family section and select what you want to see on the gallery so for the data file you can click here and for the result click on the result file and for the graph so this is very easy so if you are not using this section try to use this and you will save the more time like i am going to show you in the file that have multiple file you can see here so if you scroll down to get the graph file you have to scroll down but if you just go to the family section click here on the graph in the family so you will see the associated graph and if you click here on the result file you can see the result so this is very good option available in the prism if you are not using try to use this this will save you lots of time and the second method I, i want to show you that using the shortcut so there are three shortcut you can use for the data table result and the graph so if you want to see the result for this data table you can use control alt and r you will directly see the result and for the graph control alt and g you can see the graph likewise if you want to see the data table associated with this graph just type control alt and d for the data table control alt and r for the result and control alt and g for the graph so this is very easy and this is for the pc and for the mac you can use command in place of control and option in place of alt button and the other thing if you want to highlight the associated file you can just select the file go to the family in the menu bar click here and you can see highlight all sheet and you can highlight from here just i'm going to select elo you can see all the file associated with this are now highlighted as elo color like for the second one select the file go to the family highlight all sheet blue i can in this way you can also highlight if you want to highlight this and i hope this may help you in your research and if you like the video please subscribe my channel thank you